Hello and welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would do my skincare with you this morning because I haven't done that in a really long time. Hope you enjoyed Millie in the background. Millie! She's actually ignoring me now. But yeah, I haven't done my skincare with you for a while and I thought I would show you what I was using now. This is a new hairbrush from Aldi actually. I'm just trying to get my hairs out of this before I show you. Um, but it's kind of like a little pebble. I would say that it's not actually that good. It was only 2 99 but I kind of feel like I should have got a Tangle Teaser, but it's one of those things where I thought I was getting a bargain and it was like the same thing as a Tangle Teaser, but it turns out it wasn't. Which also makes me more skeptical of trying other things from Aldi in the beauty range. So, skincare, I used my Garnier Cleansing Lotion, which I've always used for literally years. I always use the rose one, the soothing milk, the dry and sensitive skin. I did two cotton pads to cleanse. Then I used my Face Gym Toner. They call it the Skin Changer. As you can see, I'm nearly nearly run out but i'm not actually going to repurchase this because i haven't noticed enough of a difference to re repurchase i think i've said that before in previous vlogs but obviously you can see it's lasted a really long time i don't use this one every day because it's an exfoliating one so i don't want to exfoliate every single day but that is is nice but i just prefer the other ones like ren and pixie glow tonic and stuff like that although i do kind of like that it's in a glass bottle so i can do this <laughs> then i use the vitamin e oil this is a facial oil but i use it just underneath the eyes for like extra hydration do that every morning and every night and then i've been using the new temple spa eye cream that i won this was part of the giveaway um and this one's called windows of the soul i would say it's a lot more of a daytime eye cream the consistency and what's in it is more of a, like a daytime thing every day for my serum i alternate between two serums so yesterday i used vitamin c and then today i was using this one which i also use at night time sometimes as well this is the clarins double serum i can't even remember what's in this but i just really love the consistency of this and i think it's really feels nice on the skin and does what it says i don't know if you remember when i got this it was only a couple months ago and i've already got nearly halfway through it and i don't even use this every day so it clearly doesn't last very well so i don't know if this bit in the middle is part of what comes out i don't know if you can see the brown bit or if it's just like packaging so actually only the serum is around that if that's the case i don't know why they do that because you're never going to get the amount of liquid that you think you're getting it's really weird the way they package it but i do really like the product so use that and then for moisturizer today again i use different ones every day but this time i use this one which is a l'oreal um revitative one this is actually something i would really recommend it's water plumping hyaluronic acid water water cream that's what they call it i would liken this to the baby blue teal color um tatcha cream so there's the purple one obviously which is this color but ironically i would say this is actually a lot more like the other one and i prefer the other one to the purple one of tatcha i prefer i'm sure that's the right color like a bluey greeny teal baby blue kind of color like the sea that kind of color you know what i mean i think they call that the water cream and this is honestly is that the same but i don't know whether to put this in purple if i put it in the other packaging it'd be literally like an exact dupe it's also quite satisfying um doing this pushing thing to get it out because I don't have anything like that and I always see people getting that and I really wanted to do that. And then for SPF, this is the one I use today. I do use different ones every day like usual because I have so many of every single item of skincare that you'd need. But this is a Bright Reveal Dark Spot UV Fluid. I do get freckles in the sunshine, which I actually quite like. But since I learned that it's actually a sign of skin damage, it worried me. Because technically freckles are like pigmentation. Unless you're maybe born with freckles. But I don't know if you can even be born with freckles. I don't know. Either way, I thought this would either help to reduce the look of any pigmentation I might have. Or at least prevent getting more of it. So use that one. And I actually think it gives me quite a nice glow. I mean, I have got dark circles because I didn't sleep very well last night. But for some things only sleep can help. And then I've been using this in the daytime just to give my lips a little bit of colour. It's the Burt's Bee Tinder Lip Balm. This is the colour Rose might have spoken to you about this before i'm not sure sometimes i forget there's a color in it though and i put it all over my mouth and then like over the lip line like if i was using a plain lip balm or like vaseline yeah it's 100 natural it says and i really like it i don't know what other colors they do but this is i think the right color for me so so before i did my skincare i was literally putting all of this onto vintage well, there is about 20 items of clothing here which i had just put on so like holly i am really getting on to my vintage hype at the moment i will link mine below in the description with holly's if you want to have a look also my mum came home from her holiday to greece yesterday and she brought me this home it hasn't got like a print on it or saying it but i think it's like handmade i'm pretty sure this is what you call like the evil eye to protect you from evil people evil spirits something like that anyway i love that this would be great for like you know crisps and dips vibes 
or I mean I'd love to have like cereal in the morning in it but I feel like the, the spoon is gonna potentially ruin the plate so well the bowl so the use for this is still to be determined but I love it so thank you mum if you're watching this hello everyone so I have just got ready I'm wearing a grey H&M cardigan white H&M t-shirt brown ASOS cargo. I don't know why I did that because then my shoes on they are downstairs I need to pop them on but I'm going to use my vintage bag um this is raw leather it smells a little bit but yeah we're just popping out now Lewis is getting a haircut and I'm going to go and tag along because I don't have plans um and I'm going to go to home sets I think so I will take you along and try and vlog and I'll show you if I find anything that I like everyone so we are just in home sense and i have done some damage okay so i did vlog i'm not moved but yeah i did vlog i promise and um, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of those clips i thought i'd do a haul of everything that i got so i got this lovely long cushion i don't know if i'm gonna keep there anything with this cushion so i tried already this was 16.99 they had this as well in um, like two singles so two on the end. I love this and I'm hoping this is going to look good on the bed but the only thing is is that it has got a mark here where is it gone I can't find it now is it that side it's gone. there it has a mark there which is really sad and they didn't have any others and I said you know can you do a discount and she said yes but it would only be a pound or two but you wouldn't be able to return it so I thought mm, I'd rather be able to return it and then my mum can potentially get that mark off because if I don't like it, I want obviously to be able to return it. So I got that cushion. They didn't have loads. They did look like they've been ransacked. Lewis is just downstairs doing us lunch. We stopped off at the stove company in Paddock Wood, if you know it, because we need to get a mantle for above the fireplace. And gosh, we did not know how much they were. A lot of money. So yeah, we'll be shopping around, safe to say. Okay, I got five cream Le Creuset mugs. Two for myself and three for my sister Jessica because they had about 20 in there. They had loads, so I called her because I know she's only got one and I was like, do you want me to get them? I don't think they're that heavily discounted from like the actual Le Creuset shops. I know if you're if you're left Kent, there's a Le Creuset store at Ashford Outlet and they have them in there and I think they're around the same price, maybe I don't know, 10p more or 10p less. I can't really remember. But yeah so i picked up some of those and then i got a couple of candles i got this one called vetier Ver. i don't know but this literally smells like men's aftershave yeah lovely that was just a little one i thought that might even look cute on the drawers and then i got this one which is white vanilla a sand of one. i just love the color of this like this dark brownie orange and I just love vanilla scents. I could have bought some more frames. They had lots of really good frames, but I just got a couple others. Um, because I need to get some photos developed of Lewis's family in particular because it's all my family in the house and I feel quite bad when they come over. So I've got this cute little one, this lovely rustic wood. This was $4.99 and then this one, this was my favourite. This is absolutely beautiful. This was 
and I just love it. Absolutely love it. They had quite a few of these. This is China and I'll put it up close. Okay, look at me, look at this. So it's almost like leaves or is this grapes? I don't know, but really, really gorgeous. Um, I don't know whether I'll put this upstairs or downstairs, but yeah, whenever I find good photo frames, I just like to get them because I just feel like photos make a house a home and as to candles. And that was everything I got. The only other thing is I popped into the big Asda over the road and I got some coffee pads because I only need that. But yeah, that is everything that I got. I will, oh, don't fall. I will show you them styled off around the house. But first I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Wash my hair and put it in a plait now. I do feel like it looks really dark because it's still wet at the roots, but you know, it is what it is. Wednesday Adams vibes. Anyway, I've come back on here because I've had two orders come. First one is a vintage find. Surprise, surprise, another vintage find. This is one of the drowsy sleep masks. So I don't know if you know about these, but they were coming up on my Instagram a lot. And I wanted to get a brand new one, but they're literally £70 brand new. And I was not prepared to pay that, especially when I've already got two or three sleep masks. But I just feel like they're not really up to the job anymore. They're a bit old and they're not blocking out 100% light. Whereas these ones, look so good so this was brand new i think i got this for 25 maybe 30 pounds on vintage and like i said there's 70 pound brand new well they're 69 and i think the best discount i could find was 10 percent off so even still it's a massive saving to get this for 25 pounds i'm sure it was 25 was it 25 or 30 i'm pretty sure it's 25 but even if it was 30 that's still a really great deal so it came in the box obviously it slides out like this and then it came with a little sticker on the front and I, went for the, well, I was going to say I went for this colour. This is obviously the colour that was for sale. So I went for this one, um, which is Midnight Blue. It is, oh, what is the silk called? Let me actually check what it says on the box rather than just pretending I can remember. So it's 22 Mom Mulberry Silk. Wrap around design, full face protection, light blocking, one size fits all. So it's got like a Velcro bit at the back and... I'm guessing this label thing comes off, but it does tell you to wash it on 30 degrees, which is really good to know. Um, I'm not going to put it on because I've done my skincare recently. But, yeah, you basically wrap it around. I did see a couple other ones on there, and this was like the cheapest one. But, to be honest with you, I would say for the last month or two, I've been refreshing every single day on Vinted the same search, drowsy sleep mask, because I wanted it so bad and I was not prepared to pay £70. And there was a few others that came up. They were not as cheap as I would have wanted in order to get it from Vinted. Even though it was new with tags, I still feel like buying it from Vinted, it's a risk because you're buying it from another person. It's not like, I don't know, they, they could say it's new with tags and like, I don't know, have worn it with the tag on one day and decided to sell it. You just don't know. So obviously you can report things on Vinted, but I just, I wasn't prepared to pay more than £35 for one from Vinted new. Um, which meant it, it took me longer to find one I liked. There was a really nice um, creamy coloured one I nearly got, but I just thought if I forget to take mascara off one night or I don't get it off properly, that's going to get ruined so quick. There was a really nice dark um, emerald green colour that was on there, but again, that was more expensive. And then, yeah, the midnight blue one was just like the right colour, vibe I wanted. Really happy with that. So, for your eyes only, it says. So yeah, I'm going to try that out tonight and let you know how I get on. But everyone I know who's got one has said it's really good. I mean, they were people on Instagram, not people I actually know personally. But I don't think they were, like, selling it. They were just saying, this is the one I use. Or I've seen people saying, what I'm asking if you got on. And they're like, oh, it's this one. And they link it, you know. So this is what I have gone for. So I'm happy about that. Next thing that came in the post was from... Can you actually see that? The brand Fussy. Um, which is a... I don't know what you'd call it, sustainable deodorant, healthy deodorant. I think it's sustainable or healthy. I don't know if you can say deodorant's healthy, it's not like I'm eating it. But basically it's a deodorant that hasn't got aluminium in it and that is the reason that I got it. I was looking at Wild Fussy and I was looking at, it's one called, I don't know if they call it ACT or A-K-T, but they spell it A-K-T. They're the top three I was looking at. Um, and I went for this one. I've got the blush colour, they had loads of colours. There are the colours they got. Um, and I had one, oh, what smell did I go for? I can't actually remember. I think I went for like a lavender one. Oh, here we go. Lavender Fields Calming. That's the scent I went for. But they've got loads, literally loads. Obviously, this is not an ad. I wish it was an ad. But I just was 
not happy with the aluminium that I know is in my deodorant. The one I have been using before, I'll just show you. This is my Holy Grail deodorant I've used forever. It's the Ultimate Gel Mitchum one. It's like a clear gel. Honestly, I found this to be the best deodorant I've used in my life. So it was really hard for me to think, hmm, let me try something new. But when you're hearing how bad aluminium is for you and that I'm putting it on my armpits every day, it's hard to just think, yeah, I'll keep buying that. Um, also, this is five pound every time. And that's like six pound. So it's not really much difference. Went for the blush colour and yeah, so it comes with one cartridge. I mean, do you call it a cartridge? Probably not, I don't know why I called it that. And then, oh no, I've ruined it. Oh gosh, hang on. Oh my God, that's really, oh, that just actually smell really nice. That smells like a favorite candle. Mm. Got a discount, it's meant to be 12 pound, but I had a 50% off code, so it was six pound. And that was for the case and one of these. I think it's a subscription where they send you a new one every three months, which again is like six pounds, something like that. So it's actually probably more affordable than the one I was using before, but I can't figure out how you put it in here. Does that go on there? Oh, hang on, it literally says rewind your case, then refill, push firmly into your case. How do you rewind it? Oh. Oh, I shouldn't be figuring this out on here. I'll figure it out another time away from you guys. Does that mean it's locked in place now? Ah, okay, I did it. I was going to do it off camera, but I don't know camera, so there we go. It smells really nice. So how do you turn this up then? Ooh. Do you know what? I haven't even got deodorant on yet today, so I could actually try this now. I'm not going to do that because that's a bit weird, isn't it? I don't need to be putting deodorant on, on camera, really, do I? I am going to pop out shortly when my hair is not quite so wet and get a birthday card for my auntie because I need to send them the post. Her birthday is in about three days, so I need to get one of those. And I think I'm going to order her some flowers. You know, it's really hard for me to focus on what I'm saying to you because there's a really cute cat asleep on the shed in front of me. In fact, I wanted to show you because it looks so cute. The cat looks just like my dad's cat, which was my nan's cat before she passed away. Um, and he looks so cute. He's actually like sunbathing, but like kind of shaded in the willows or the willow tree. Is that a willow tree? I don't even know. It just looks so cute. Let me show you. How totally adorable. Every now and again, his towel squishes. I feel like he's dreaming. I don't know. Look, got a state of my nose room. I wish I could say there was a reason for this, but there isn't really. But I might sort this out before I go. Oh my gosh, Millie, they're my clean clothes. Can you not lay on those, please? I can't be mad at you. Oh. I'm honestly so sick of not being tanned. I know I've got the jumper on, but, and it is cold, but even just my face alone, I just feel like, I didn't realize how much I relied on my fake tan to feel good because in the summer I do religiously fake tan every week because you're bound to have at least your arms out or your legs or a bit of chest you know something but in this weather I mean it's actually not too bad today because I can see blue skies and I can see blue skies white clouds and grey clouds so a bit of a mix but it is quite nice and bright and little tunnel out there without any rain so I can't really complain but I just feel like I need to be tanned but what is the point when you're wearing clothes like this and covering up, there's literally no point. I'm not just gonna do my hands. I might just do my face. And then people can just assume that I'm just the ta that tan the rest of the way, you know? I did put some of this on after my skincare today. I didn't tell you because it was like a spare the mint decision, but uh, it's the Isle of Paradise Day Dew Self Tan Base Mist. Um, you shake, oh, did I shake it before I use it? I hope I did, I don't actually think I did. Um, but it's a, basically a gradual tan. I had the purple bottle of this, which is the nighttime one. That was really nice, not like lavender. And I did use that in the evenings before bed after skincare and that worked really well. But I've not really used this one much, as you can tell, for the daytime because I don't know how this would go over SPF. Like, I've not actually put SPF on today and really I should. But I just thought, how is this gonna go through my SPF? But I don't wanna put it on before my SPF either because then I'm rubbing it in. So I, I'm a bit confused with the best way to use this, to be honest. Obviously it just says close your eyes, spray onto the face, blah, blah, blah. But it says before makeup, but it doesn't say where to put it on in your skincare. So it's a bit confusing. So if you use this and you know, let me know. If not, I'll keep blindly guessing and hoping for the best. I've got some washing here that needs folding up. So I thought I might as well do that. But I cannot stop singing the songs from Sabrina Carpenter's new album. Like literally the taste song is just going round and round in my head every single day oh 
gosh, this is going to need ironing. Anyone else purposely not buy clothes that need ironing so they can just save the job of ironing from ever existing in their life? Well, that won't happen anymore for me because I bought linen over the summer, as you know in previous vlogs. So I have to now iron. I mean, I do love this skirt. I only got to wear it twice in the summer because I got it in the, in the summer sale. I'm now going to have to iron this and keep it in my wardrobe until next summer, which is so annoying. But at least it was a good find. Just before I go and get a card from my auntie, I just thought I'd show you the flowers that I've ordered with my sisters to come to the house. They're called the Katie. Oh, here it is, the Katie. I think these look really nice. I, we always get letterbox ones because we just don't know what she'll be doing on her birthday, whether she'll be in or not. And obviously it's just safe that these can get sent into her house. But I think these look really nice. I can't even remember what flowers is that they are now, but these are the ones I've gone for. I've used Bloom and Wild for ages now and they never fail me. Come to Home Sense because what could be a better thing to do on a Friday evening? No, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. shall I get shall I get Millie a toy? Oh my gosh, a sloth! A little devil sloth! Oh my gosh, little horns! Little red wings? No, wings, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. How much is that? $6.99. Oh. Also got a little witch's hat. Does this squeak? <laughs> oh, it squeaks. Oh my gosh. I think Millie needs a Halloween toy. What is that? Boo's Brothers. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. I need to step away. This is nice. It's autumnal. I like this chair. How much is this? 180. It's quite nice actually, it's really soft. This looks like a matchable, I think it's more like a pestle and mortar actually. Oh, a tea thing. I need one of these. Oh, I like this. I don't really like the, I don't really like the stitching on it. it from a distance, it doesn't look like how it feels. It looks more like woven and rattan and I don't really want that. Definitely don't want that anywhere in the house. It's too scary. Found the candle section. This is basically why I'm here. Can't lie. Run out of my normal candle. Not run out but burn it out. And I want to get a replacement and I want it to be as autumnal as possible. So I don't know why I want to smell this R.I.P. but I do so I'm going to smell it. It actually smells really nice. There's nothing R.O.P. about that. I need to smell this. Oh no, that's way too apple-y. That smells like an apple that you cut and left open on the side for an hour and then it's gone all funny coloured and you're not going to eat it anymore. That is exactly what that smells like. This one smells really nice. Velvet Woods and Amber. I feel like Holly has this or one similar at least. I love lavender smell so I'm going to smell this one and then I'm going to go straight to the pumpkin section. Mm, it's quite nice, but it's just not lavendery enough for me, to be honest. I feel like I'd like this because it's coconut. Oh, do you know what? It's 3 dollars I'm just going to smell it. Hang on. This smells nice enough for me to take with me on my journey to the pumpkin candles. Come upstairs now. They've got so many Stanley dupes here. Tempted by this red one. How much is this? $14.99. These are very Sharpay High School Musical vibes, which I love. Especially this one, actually. This is more Christmassy. Holly could use this one. How much is that? It's $9.99. This is a cute autumn mug with all the pumpkins on it. And it's quite big, so it fits my cups of tea. $4.99. That's nice as well. The sunflower one. Honeybee, how much is that? $2.99. It's not quite big enough. Oh, this is big. Look, there's bugs on it. This is a pretty cool mug. I feel like it'd be really heavy to drink out of though. And I'm really awkward actually because the lid, the, the rim, whatever you call it, is really thick. How much is it? Let's see. $5.99. That's your vibe? Come home sense. Toad stores. That's cute. Again, a big mug. $4.99. If not, there's about a million other ones for you to choose from. This is a very Halloween-y mug. I actually love it. $4.99. Again, a very good size. Do you know they had wines here in Home Sense? 
These look very expensive. These are only £3.20. Wait, actually, that's a bit shallow for a pasta bar. These are cute, though. I feel like these would go nice with the Greek bowl. Actually, this one would go really nice, too. Is this one on the sale? Four fifty. I love this cup. Two ninety nine, and it's from Thailand. That is so nice. It does say Murano glass, made in Italy. And I actually saw these in Murano this year, so I feel like they. I thought they'd be more expensive than seven ninety nine. So I'm questioning the authenticity here. Also, they've got mug versions. Look, these are supposedly Murano glass, white crystal, handmade in Italy. And it's a mug style. I love that. I'd love every single glass and mug to be completely different in my house. These are good. I come to home sense and the only thing I look at is candles, mugs, and the food section. This humongous pasta in home sense is £2.70 for all that. From Italy, yeah, look. Says it there. From Italy. Get your authentic Italian pastas in home sense. This one's £3.10. This one's £2.70. I suppose it's the same as that one, but still. I don't know what this is though. Oh, it's chilli infused, don't want that. These little tea tins are really cute, I like these. We've got sleep tea over here. Oh, what's this? Rice cakes. And spickle me Korean seaweed snack. shouldn't really come in here when I haven't eaten dinner yet because I just want to buy everything. Oh, smoky barbecue. Kombucha. Oh my gosh, I'm buying this. I've never tried this flavour. Kombucha. Pineapple and peach. How much is this? 3 99 Oh, quite a lot. You know what? I'm going to buy it. YOLO. Look at these cakes. Italian biscuits. Do you think it's Italian? Because, oh my God, look at the moist squeeziness on that. Squeeziness? What do I mean? Moist, moist, squashiness. Oh, I don't know. Moistness. The moistness of these cakes. I can see why they have had 65 years of su uh, success. <laughs> Love heart-shaped pasta. Oh. Is this from Italy? I think it is. Yes, look, I did Italy. That's lovely. I have found a more autumny section. They've got autumn cutlery till death do us part. Actually, this is more Halloween, isn't it? Not autumn. Mug with a snow globe lid. If that is not a Halloween in a mug, I do not know what is. How much is that? They're all really decent sizes as well. Four ninety nine. <gasps> Look at these cooking pots. Oh god, that actually can't even lift that. That's so heavy, but. It's a Dutch oven. I don't think that's a real thing. Look. There's so much Halloweenness. I'm not gonna lie, I prefer autumnness to Halloween things, but it is cute. Oh, that, that's cute, isn't it? It's a bit freaky. Oh my God, imagine I get ready in this. Mm. Why do I like this? Witch's brew. That's cute, that little mummy, isn't it? I just feel like you must have an infinite amount of money to buy things like this for your house for Halloween when it's only literally a, like a two week period of time. Because it's gotta be autumn and then it's gotta be Halloween and then it's gotta be Christmas. I haven't even found any autumn candles yet. Thank you.